caught wife cheating. I file for divorce. Wife tries to end her life. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Caught wife cheating. I file for divorce. Wife tries to end her life. Title summarizes everything. And mobile? English is not my first language. I will try to keep this short, but it's still long. Me 33 male and wife 34 male have been married for 11 years. We have one kid, six female. We have a big house. She earns more than I do, but generally, we are very stable financially. Our marriage has been good with normal ups and downs up until the beginning of last month. My new job, which I had gotten after I was fired from my first job when the pandemic hit, requires me to travel a lot. My wife was happy as she had started complaining when she saw like she's the only one working and I was doing nothing to look for a new job. I had been gone for two weeks and this was the first time I had was out of town for the job. I got lucky and got to go home three days early. I dropped by at a friend's house to pick up some flowers to surprise my wife. He is a florist. Only to find my wife in the kitchen putting her clothes back on and my friend zipping his pants. My heart dropped and it felt like fainting. I couldn't see and I felt like throwing up. I took out my phone and takes a few photos. I get back to my car, leave, and book a hotel room a few miles away. I text my wife and tell her that I won't be home in another week due to work. Cheating has always been a deal breaker for me. I know what it can do to people as my brother has been cheated on severally and it totally broke him. I call him, tell him everything. He is a very supportive. We call his lawyer and files for the divorce. A week later, my wife is served. My phone blows up with texts and calls. She denies cheating. I sent her the proof and I hung up the phone. She asked me to come home and talk. I sent the photos to my parents and her parents so that she doesn't spin the story. Switch off my phone and... And I decided to use my work phone. I switch it back on two days later and my phone is spamming with texts and calls from friends and family. I talk to my mom who asked me to go check up on my daughter. I get home and my wife gets on her knees crying, begging, sobbing asking for forgiveness and another chance. She was a mess and looked like someone who haven't had sleep in a long time. I was having none of it, and I packed her shit up and kicked her out of my house. Called her parents to come pick her up. She spends the whole day at my door crying, asking me to open the door so that we could talk. My parents pick my daughter up school and stay with her for the next few days. For the next few weeks, my wife tried to talk to me. She would show up at my work, found her at the door in the morning before I left for work and before I came back home, asking her friends to try speak to me. Somehow convinced my parents to take her side, asked me to at least try to talk to her. Her parents even came and asked to talk to her that she's not good. At other times, she came with her friends to try to talk to me. I was adamant that I didn't want to talk to anything about the cheating or reconciliation, or I wanted to talk about was the divorce. Anyway, it all stopped for a few days before I got a call from my mom telling me that my wife tried to commit suicide. She was in a hospital Mom asked if I could go check on her since she tried to commit suicide because of me. I get to the hospital and her parents won't let me see her, especially her mother who looked at me with cold eyes. 
Most of her friends and family blamed me. The nurse talked to them since my wife kept asking if I came to check on her. I go in and she immediately starts crying. I felt guilty and sorry for her. She apologized profusely. She said that she didn't want to lose me and if I wasn't in her life, then her life is meaningless. She said that the affair was the most stupid and selfish she ever made. They have been having an emotional affair for a week leading up to me leaving and turned physical when I left. It's been two weeks since it happened. I told her to give me time to think about it. And I have been numb the whole time. She get released and is staying with her parents. And I am regularly checking on her. I don't know what I'm looking for. I guess this is just a rant. My 35, male, wife 34 female, wants to cancel the divorce. After finding out about a new woman, 24 female, I was seeing. My wife and I have been married since 2008. I am 34 and she is 35. There has been a lot of conflict in our marriage. From the start of our union, it felt like we jumped into things a little too soon. We had only dated for six months prior to getting married and we had our daughter shortly after. My wife felt that she fell behind in the life game of having children, getting married, so she wanted to play catch-up on life. This too caused a lot of conflicts because we initially planned before getting married that we would wait at least a year before trying for kids. However, my wife admitted to me later that she went of birth control a month before the wedding. However, despite our initial fighting, we managed to keep our relationship float. However, it seemed that after we convinced for our second child, my wife lost all interest in sex. She would often make excuses to go to bed early. It got to a point where I felt like we were roommates. However, I didn't really want to be the one to have our children grow up in a broken home. About three months ago, my wife pretty much dropped the ball. She said that she agrees that we rushed into things and she doesn't think there is chemistry between us. I kind of was happy that she did it because I knew... I wasn't going to be the one to pull the trigger. We didn't file divorce proceedings, but we did start sleeping in separate beds, and it was accepted that things were over. From my office, there was always this girl that looked up to me. I was her supervisor when she interned in college. She asked me to join her for lunch a couple times before, and this time when I saw her, I accepted her offer. She started talking a good bit. I wanted to see her outside of work, so I went on a date with her. Prior to doing so, I ran by my wife and asked her if she was okay with this. That if she wanted me to wait till after the divorce was done, I'd understand. I guess it took her by surprise, but she accepted we went on a date together, had a good time. When I got home, I went to sleep, but my wife woke me up and started asking about how it went. I told her it was fun and tried to leave at it. That but she was really curious, not in an angry way either, just purely curious. Things started to get weird after that. My wife woke me up by sitting on the top of me and grinding her crotch on mine. Throughout the day, she started asking me for a picture of what she looks like, so that way, she knows if it's someone dangerous. I am letting into my life who might hurt our kids. I told her her name, and I guess she found pictures of her on FB. After that, she got obsessed with her. 
When her friends were over, I overheard her showing them her FB account and talking about how pretty the girl is. My wife also said that she isn't sure about us breaking up. When I went to go to sleep, my wife jumped into bed with me and keep trying to fool around with me. I feel as if the only reason she has found such interest in me again is because I found someone else. I want our children to grow up in a two-parent household, but I feel like this is just a ploy. I feel that my wife doesn't really have any interest in me.